general and cardiac surgeon, India. Leading general and cardiac surgeon from India talks about his education and experience. He did his training in the United States and focuses on minimal access cardiac and thoracic surgery. I think we are now at around about 120 patients and of which three patients had bad results in the sense that they really didn't do well at all. A couple of them did show some early improvement but at the end of the day uh, they have not benefited from the procedure and this is after a nine month follow up that we are talking about. Whereas uh, if you take uh, stupendous results which is even making us still do it, there are around 20 of them who were completely wheelchair bound and absolutely uh, non-progressive in life in any form whatsoever, have an absolutely normal quality of life now. That is what makes you want to get back and do it. Even though it's a small number, I think even if it's one or two out of the 120 who get these kind of results, it's amazing. The vast chunk fall in the middle group where they're all doing well in their own little ways. Uh, what you get as a feedback from them is that the quality of life has improved a lot. That is a, a, a very steady feedback that comes from the patients. They are small things that they never did for 15, 20 years or whatever and those things are, they can now do. They get back some amount of self-respect and self-dignity and get a little bit more independent than what they could be before. And that's a huge difference to these patients. The large chunk comes from North America, Canada and the US. I've had patients from Norway, I've had someone from Spain, uh, I think from Ukraine, Pakistan, uh, and now I'm starting to see some trickle uh, in from uh, uh, Hong Kong and Tanzania. There are some patients who will be coming in different countries. But I see they are a very close-knit community, MS patients. Mm -hmm. They have multiple forums, they talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So they, they all know what's going on and which center is doing what, what's the quality of work. So I don't think it's going to be restricted to a particular region. I think you're going to see people coming from all over the world because everyone wants it done. But we, we have uh, everything that's available in the rest of the world. We have all the cutting edge. We do endoscopic uh, uh, heart surgery over here. Uh, we do VATS lobectomies, which is done again by very few centers uh, uh, in the U.S. and uh, Canada. Uh, we're now doing uh, CCSVI on a fairly regular basis. Uh, monitoring equipment, infrastructure, pretty much world class. Whatever is available at the clinic is available over here. So I don't think in terms of infrastructure we are lagging in any way behind. Patients are safe coming in uh, to get any any kind of uh, high-tech procedure. For CCSVI, in India we are the first ones to do it. Uh, Dr. Gopi is an international cardiologist and myself, both of us are a team who does, uh, uh, who do these liberation therapy procedures. Uh, the first team was Zamboni, the pioneer in this. There's like a Marianne Simka who is a radiologist from Poland who is again uh, a key player. He was the second one to get into this large uh, series of patients. And uh, we are the third uh, people to get on board uh, very early in the uh, decision making to do CCSVI as a therapy for multiple sclerosis. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.